this is the 17th video of the lecture series optimization using excel and in this video we are going to discuss how to solve a minimum spanning tree problem using prims algorithm in the last video that is in video number 16 we discussed the same problem minimum spanning tree but using kruskal's method so in this video it is it will be continued further and prims algorithm will be used to solve the same problem so as I have told you earlier in the video number 16 that there are two methods one is Kruskal's another is Prim's and in this video we are going to discuss Prim's and both Kruskal's and Prim's are applicable to undirected drop and what is an undirected drop it means that when there are two nodes suppose two nodes are there A and B then the link between them will not have any particular direction that means this is not from B to A or from A to B this is just a linkage between these two but the flow can happen in both the directions so that means it is undirected drop and uh, the network model that we have selected here for solving you can check that every single arc or linkage does not have any arrowhead associated with it so that means uh, the complete graph is an undirected graph so we will solve this then using excel so i must tell you that i am using excel because i want to give a structure to the implementation process otherwise it can be solved using hand just by looking at it and using mind and hand only so let us move on to the excel sheet then so this is the excel sheet you can check the column headings this is the updated tree this is the length of that uh, included length this is the included nodes this is the connected edges and these are the selected edges so let us start so the first step here is like in Kruskal's you will select the minimum length arc only so first of all you will select C and H because you can check here this is the length is one so this is minimum of all so select c and h and you include this here include this information here that means c and h are included and what is the length length is of course equal to one and what are the included nodes so far included nodes are c and h i am using different rows for different nodes so now unlike Kruskal's you can see just refer to the Kruskal sheet here Kruskal in Kruskal's method we were using the, we are making the selection without considering the fact that whether the spanning tree is continuous or discontinuous for example in the first step we selected CH and in the second test step we selected GI you can see here CH and GI do not have any connectivity between them so they are they were disjoined in spite of the fact we selected them and we were never thinking at that point that whether selecting the disjoint arcs or disjoint edges will ultimately form a single spanning tree or not but in case of prims that is not going to happen prim always thinks that if we take uh, disjoint edges then a single spanning tree will may not be formed at the end so therefore it always takes the nodes that are already connected so far so if we have taken c and h the length was minimum which is one and the two nodes are c and h and so therefore it will only consider the edges coming out of h and coming out of c so let us write them which are those edges from the c we have c e nine this is uh, i am writing the length of the edges in the uh, parenthesis and then c a is six and then c b is 13. similarly from h h i is four a g is three and h e is five so these are the six edges that needs to be considered now now 
we will select the minimum of these six. What is the minimum? You can check here. Hg3 is the minimum. So we will consider Hg3. So therefore, copy here and select 8 H and G. So once we do this, now in the next step, we have C, H and G covered. These three nodes are covered. So what is the length? Length was 3 plus 1 will be equal to 4. So that means the total length. I will get the total length at the end not the length of every single step. Okay, so what are the nodes included now? C, H and G. Three nodes are included. You can copy these two from the previous steps. Now one check you can implement here. Again the closed loop check should always be done in case of prims also. Like in Kruskal's we discussed then whenever there is a closed loop is forming that kind of selection is excluded. Here also you can implement the same. So CE9, if you consider CE9, no, no closed loop. CAH also no closed loop. CV13 also no closed loop. HI4 no closed loop. HG3 no closed loop. But HG3 we can delete here because already we have selected this in the previous step. And then HE5 also no closed loop. Now for the G, for the G there are several arcs, so write them all. GI, GI2, then GF14, then GD17, then GE11, and that's it. You can check here. So this one, this one, this one and this one. These are the four are connected to G. So I am writing all of them. So now you check this, all these arcs, which one is the minimum? You select that. So you can find GI2 is the minimum. So we will select GI2 here. So just copy here, copy it. So as you can see here, Prim is always taking care of the fact that tree at all the point, all point of the process is continuous. That means it is not taking any other edges from a disjoint area. Always, it is always considering the covered node. So now, in the next step, we have C, H, G, and I. These nodes are covered, and what is the length? Previously, it was four plus now gi is 2 so 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 and now what are the nodes covered c a g are already covered and now this time i so now c a g for c a g i will copy them all i will delete gi2 from here because gi2 i have considered already here i will again check it once in order to eliminate some of them is if some closed loop is getting formed so let us check it c e9 C E9 no closed loop, C A, C A also no closed loop, C V also no closed loop, H I, H I, C, H I4 is to be deleted from here because you see if you consider it, it is a closed loop. So now it is not feasible to consider H I4. So I am deleting H I. H E H is okay, no closed loop. G F14, okay, G D17 is also okay. GE11 is also okay. Now I, from I, which one you can select? Obviously, you will not select HI, you will select IF, that is the only possibility you have. So IF18. Now, out of all this, all this, which one is the minimum? You can check here, it is HE5. So simply Select that here in the network HE5. Okay. So once this is done, come to the next step. So now C, H, G, I, and which one? E is also 
covered. What is the total length? Six. Earlier it was six. Look here, it was six earlier. Now HE five is selected. So six plus five is equal to eleven. Now what are the covered nodes? These are the covered node plus one extra E. So we will include E again. I am copying this. I will check once that C H E five was selected in the previous step, so no need to select it. So we can even delete H also here yeah, from here. So I will take it up now. C, C, A, C, B will not form any closed loop here. You can check G, F, 14. G, F, 14 will not form any closed loop. G, D, 17 will not form any closed loops. G, 11. G, 11 will form a closed loop. So you delete here. G, E, 11. You see, if you select G, E, 11, then G, H, E, G will be a closed loop. So you select, you must exclude that. IF18, IF18 will not form any closed loop. Now E, from E, from E, there are several possibilities, but EG will not be selected due to closed loop. ED, you can select 19, then EA is 15, EC will not select because closed loop will be formed. So this is the total possible selection out of which you will select the minimum which one is the minimum check here ca6 is the minimum so our next selection is ca6 so which one is that this is so now in the next step c h g i e and a all are included total total is 11 plus 6 so you see here 11 was earlier and now 6 so 11 plus 6 is 17 now what are the covered nodes these are the covered ones and now a additionally i will copy it here from the previous step and now i'll check for the closed looping c e of course will give you a closed loop so don't select that c a is already selected so delete that c b keep it here because no closed loop is forming g f 14 no closed loop so it will remain here g d 17 g d 17 is okay no closed loop i f 18 i f 18 is perfect no problem no closed loop e d 19 it is also okay EA15, it cannot be there because there will be a closed loop. I am not de describing it, but you can understand. Like if you select EA, then E, A, C, H, and then HE, it, it will form a closed loop. So you cannot select EA at this stage. Next is A. A for A, how many possibilities are there? AE will not select it, will not be selected because it is a closed loop. Then AD is OK, AD10 is perfect. Then AB is OK, no closed loop, 7. And there is no more possibility. So out of these possibilities, which one we will select? We will select AB7 because it is the minimum. Now since AB is selected, mark AB on the network diagram. So this is selected no? A and B. So this is included. Now in the next step, C, H, G, I, E, A and B now. B is also included now. So what is the total length? 17 plus 7 that is equal to 24. Now you see C, B, if you connect CB, then CB, AC will be a closed loop. So now this is not feasible. So copy it from here, from G onwards, because C is not feasible now. So in G, GF14, GF14 is not forming any closed loop. So keep it here. GD17, not forming any closed loop. Keep it here. Now IF, IF is also not forming any closed loop. ED, 
ED is not forming any closed loop. Now AB7 you can always delete because I have already included in the last step. So no need to consider again AD10. What is AD? AD you can keep it here because no closed loop is forming. So out of these possibilities, which one is the minimum? So AD10 is the minimum. Node is there B. So last time you included B. So keep B here. And from B, how many possibilities are there? BF12, BD8. That's it. So now, out of these all, which one is the minimum? BD8 is the minimum. So keep it here. And then in the next step, C, H, G, I, E, A, B, and now D. And total length is 24 plus 8, 32. And then we copy it here. Delete BD because BD is included. Now G BD is included, so mark it also here. BD. Now I can check for closed looping. GA14, no problem. GD, GD you cannot consider now because you check here. If you join GD, then GD, B, A, C, H, G. The closed loop is forming. So delete GD. IF, no problem in IF. ED. If you include ED now, then there will be closed loop. ED, B, A, C, H, E. So ED cannot be considered. So delete E also because there is no more possibility from E. Then from A, AD, AD is not possible. You see AD, if you join AD, then AD, BA will be a closed loop. So delete this one also. Now BF, BF is anywhere possible. So join, if you Check these three. Which one is the minimum? Minimum is BF12. So join that. BF12. Now, as you may have already noticed, that all the nodes are now covered. All the nodes are covered. F is also covered. So what is the total length? 32 plus 12 is equal to 44. So this is the complete network using Prem's algorithm. This is the minimum spanning tree. Now you should not be surprised to see the Kuskas diagram. It is again the same thing, same spanning tree we have gotten in case of Kuskas. And now this is for Prem's. This is also giving you the same spanning tree and the length is 44. So either you use Kuskas or you can use Prem's. You will get anyway. You will get the same spanning tree, minimum spanning tree. Both the methods methods will be. Mm -hmm. equally helpful in bringing the minimum spanning tree. The only condi condition here is that uh, the network network should be a directed graph. That's all. And this is how you can solve Prim's algorithm. Uh, you can solve a minimum spanning tree using Prim's algorithm. Again, I will tell you here that uh, you can solve these entire all these steps manually just by doing this thing mentally and not writing so much. You may find this too much cumbersome, but actually I'm doing this in order to make a proper systematic way of solving the problem and uh, making a formalized procedure. And this will be helpful if the network diagram is complex. Otherwise for simpler diagram like this one, you can solve it manually also using just by hand or using mental processes. So that's it. That's all about Prim's algorithm and minimum spanning tree. And in the next video, we will see how to solve a, another type of network flow models, which is a traveling salesman problem. Until then, goodbye and thank you very much for watching.